join us. Circle the globe. The planet is your hunting paradise. And one man will show you the world as you've never seen it before. Danger won't stop him. Nature won't break him or prevent him from doing the impossible. Hunting the Earth with bow and arrow. Be there to share this adventure. The ultimate journey for the ultimate shot. Uganda, the 30th of August. After eight hunting days spent chasing antelope in the bush, we went back to civilization for a while to buy some chicken, eggs, and potatoes. It was not that we lacked food, we had eight trophy animals in the last eight days and eight world records, but we could not eat only game and fish. Actually, thanks to the culinary skills of Tyson and Nabos, we could eat just about anything. We needed to go among the local population and see the way of life of some of the poorest people in Africa. We wanted to find out how they made their bricks of adobe and how they baked them in big piles lighting the fire and the oil left inside for that purpose. I wanted to find out why these long-time sufferers were among the kindest and most hospitable people in Africa. Despite the genocide they had lived through during the rule of Idi Amin, despite the attacks of Joseph Kony's gang who had abducted more than 30,000 children in 10 years and killed Thousands of his fellow countrymen, despite all of this, the people of Uganda had preserved their hope and belief and the smile of their children. Looking at these good people, I promised myself to try to help them in any way I can. And the best I can do is to tell you about the unique country so that you, the hunters coming here, could give your financial support to the local population. Irrespective of your nationality, whether you are American, Bulgarian, French, Spanish, German, or Russian, you will be quite welcome here. I can guarantee that. We're back in the Katanga swamps here in Uganda. It's uh, day two of a three-day hunt. We didn't really plan on hunting Sitatunga on this trip, but the option came available, and here we are. Last night, you would have seen us get in just before dark on a really nice Sitatunga bull. We almost had the shot. A bunch of female water buck took off and ran through the swamp, splashing and charging. And the Sitatunga very cautiously, quietly, carefully turned and walked into the brush. I was at full draw and he didn't stop. He was just about 50 yards. The good news is that our guide told us he probably wasn't 20 inches. And we're trying to get a 20 inch plus Sitatunga. So today we're back at it. We're in the swamps. We're gonna work the edge. We're gonna look for Sitatunga this morning and then late tonight. That's the prime time. It rained this morning and it was foggy and we were, were late, but the sun's shining. And we're starting here. We got about a three mile, four mile walk around this edge of this swamp in this spot where they know there's big male Sitatunga, and we've seen them. We saw them last night, so stay with us. Sitatunga, first bow hunters in Uganda hunting Sitatunga. On our way to the marshes, we were passing once again through the green zone, vibrant with life, where hundreds of water buck coexisted with many other species of antelope and pigs. I was not adverse to testing my shots on a bushbuck, diker, or big warthog. Once again, we kept a close watch on the peacefully grazing antelope. We were looking carefully to see again the hybrid between Sitatunga and Waterbuck, 
that we had seen a day before, but unfortunately the mutation was not very cooperative. Maybe the animal we had seen was the only one of its kind. The bush buck we saw had very big horns. We did see, however, one of the smallest representatives of the African antelope, the frisky diker. The little animal, which had hidden at the foot of the trees, was a representative of the smallest diker species, the gray diker. The species name comes from German. It means diving. You can easily guess why this animal receives this name. When frightened, it runs towards the closest patch of greenery and literally dives under the leaves and grasses, which covers it completely due to its small size of only about 20 to 30 inches. A small target that is difficult to hit, especially if the animal is eyeing you in open terrain. My shot was doomed even before I released the arrow. The heavy arrow and the powerful bow I had taken for the Sitatunga hunt were not the best equipment for taking a diker. We were wriggling our way through the thick bush, growing abundantly on the border of the swamp, and we were thankful that we could make such good progress here at all. In some places near the swamp, the jungle was so dense that we had no visibility towards the wetlands. Here was the ideal place to see the tracks of Sitatunga, or the animal itself. We were looking out for its beds, reeds, trodden in the form of a circle. That is how the females prepared the place where they would raise their young. At any place where we saw open water spaces, we were even more cautious because the swamp spirit, as I called the Sitatunga, was able to dive and hide under the water surface, showing only part of its muzzle above so it could breathe. I was examining the water surface for a telltale stir of grasses or swamp plants without success when suddenly we heard it. Kaka inspected the animal, quietly grazing among the reeds, and motioned for us to continue. We edged along, closely behind one another, moving cautiously. Soon we were close enough, and I drew the bow. There were two Sitatunga, it turned out, which provoked by our movement raised two pairs of eyes towards us. Our good camouflage did not fail us, and the wind helped us to remain undetected right until the shot. Its swift upward leap unmistakably showed that the shot had been good, and although it disappeared among the reeds with a few leaps, I was almost certain that we would soon find it. I don't know. I think you did. I think you did. Hattie. Which, Which one you shot? The one here, here. 
On the right. On the right. Yeah, because he yeah. went down like this. Yeah. That means he hit him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alex. The two trackers, Alex and Michael, took off their clothes and waded into the muddy waters in the direction in which the wounded Sitatunga had disappeared. Without waiting for an invitation, Vlado and I, still dressed, he carrying his camera and I my bow, followed them into the swamp. Leeches, snakes and hippos. Yeah. We went waist deep into the mire and we had difficulty advancing toward the place where we had last seen the fleeing animal. I could not remember seeing the Sitatunga sink even for an inch while it escaped in these same waters where we found it so difficult to progress even without an arrow wound in our body. Soon we lost sight of the two guides in the dense high reeds, but we followed the blood trail on the green swampy grasses floating in clusters on the surface. Our progress was becoming almost impossible because of the thick mire and the entangled roots of reeds under the water. We tried to climb up on the clusters of grass and the miracle happened. We were walking on water, being supported only by the surface vegetation. So that was how the Sitatunga had made its escape. Soon I could see among the reeds the giant silhouette of Alex, who made a sign to me to be careful. In front of us in the reeds was the fallen antelope, seemingly dead, but I had no chance for error. So I released an arrow into its lifeless body. It did not move. We got him! Thank you, gentlemen. Incredible. Ati. Wow. Congratulations. That's a tremendous trophy. Sitatunga. So much. Thank you, my, my great tracker. Yes. My great tracker. Thank you. Sir. Yeah, yeah. Alex, yeah, thank you. Sure. This is special trophy. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the toes on him. Oh. Wow, what a thrill. What a hunt. Yeah. This is one of the great trophies of Africa. To get one of these Sitatunga, I, I don't know if there's any taken, but most guys say no, no, no. You can't get them with a the bow. And it was a long shot. Like, And the monster, the monster came through with these almost a thousand grain hippo arrows. Broke the end off this one. There it is. Trophy Ridges Blast 300s with a, a heavy, heavy plastic insert and a 175 grain Magnus broadhead. Did the trick on this fabulous trophy. Wow, what a, what a thrill. What an unbelievable hunt this has been for us in Uganda. I mean, make sure you contact Safari Season. They arranged one of the dream hunts of my lifetime here. Just all these species that very few bow hunters have ever hunted, maybe, maybe one or two. And we came here for 10 days and we've got seven species, nine animals, and a whole bunch of fabulous, fabulous trophies you just dream to get. Lots of wildlife, really well managed. They just need our help. They need Safari Club International to help them build their resource and protect their resource. And if we come and hunt here, that'll happen. It's just unnatural. And Ugandas, as they, Ugandan people, as they say, are the most friendly, the most friendly in Africa. And don't kid yourself about their past. They had a trying past under a previous administration. We've all had ugly administrations in our governments. Anyway, come to Uganda, we're coming back. We're going to get safari season to book us here again. You break through and you fall down about four feet. Look at the blood here.
Coming out of the swamp would be difficult without taking a Sitatunga. But with it, the whole safari, all the hardship and the difficulties we had endured for the last few days now had a meaning. The impossible had become the possible, thanks to the endeavors of the whole team. Everybody had done their best. The people of Kaka and Sani from Safari Season, my videographer Vlado, who did not hesitate for a second to enter the muddy wetlands. We all deserve this success, a feat no bow hunter had ever achieved in Uganda and probably in the whole of Africa. We did it. Kaka, we did it. The unbelievable, we did it. The impossible. Mission, mission impossible. Judging from the distance, I believe it was slightly over 70. It was, yeah. This swamp is home to a lot of Sitatungas. And in the morning, there was a lot of mist. We came and uh, we couldn't see anything. But somehow I said, actually, I have a feeling. Let's go and see. They might be doing a little bit of sun basking. We came and while Alex was looking the other side, I came a bit in front and I saw two Sitatungas and I beckoned them to come. I came with Archie, we came closer, he put the arrow, I could see the animal bend a bit, and I told Archie, you got him, it's, uh, it's amazing, I never believed that Archie would get a Sidatunga with a ball, but that's it, and I think it's a fine Sidatunga. Beautiful, so a a any mature animal with a bow is a tremendous fruit. That's it wonderful. Is. It just is, and it's uh, thank you to you. I am proud to be with you and getting a Sidatunga with a bow for the first time, at least in Uganda. I don't yes. Know, but well, Uganda. you have a great team and a great group of people. And as you said, the Uganda people are all friendly. They are wonderful. And they put up with our trials and tribulations, getting our stuff together, getting our act together here on the hunt. And uh, we finally got everything sighted in and working and our new equipment. Our new Matthew and thanks Bose. to Valdo also. Yes, thanks to Valdo. Valdo, for... thank him for getting wet. That was wonderful. Well, we have a special <laughs> dessert for him tonight. You know? Ah, thank you. <laughs> and, and a couple of uh, Bell beer to go. Ah, yeah. that will be nice. Yeah, thank you for pulling the thing out. Oh, well, you're thank great you eyes. The luck with you has been good luck, man. <laughs> good. And Alex, on the way here, Alex said there's a snake and there was a big pipe on it. He wouldn't let us catch it, so... It was actually too big to catch. We'll catch it for others to come and see too. Oh, good, okay. Yeah. Well, we wouldn't hurt it. We just see. It's not the end of safari. We catch it. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much, everyone. Yeah, thanks. Stay tuned. We still have 36 hours of hunting life. <laughs> Mission impossible. Mission <laughs> impossible. I never thought we'd do that. Thank you very much. Please. It's Thank just you. to get one with the bow, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, our safari is over. We ended it with an animal I didn't expect to get, a Sitatunga. We're in Uganda. Truck's on its way to pick us up. We'll see you in the next segment of Ultimate Shot.
The 10-day safari in Uganda had brought me six antelope species and seven world records, two of which I improved upon myself on the very next day after setting them. This is the paradise of the bow hunter, and I wish all of you who are watching this film to come and see it with your own eyes. You say the t-shirt with Mumba, white man, what is it? Musungu. 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 <laughs> Archie Musungu. <laughs> Archie Safari. Twende Kambini. Tufunge Safari. Twende Kambini. Amuri ya nani. Amuri ya nani. Yabwana Archie Musungu.